Hello, this is Don with Mexop Support. In this short video, we're going to show you how easy it is to create bridges and tabs in a profile, two and a half axis profiling operation using Visual Cam 2016. So, as you can see, I've got a part loaded on the screen. Uh, I've got stock created, and I have a setup, and I have my work zero defined. So, let's go ahead and create a two and a half axis profiling operation and it'll sh I'll show you how easy it is to create bridges and tabs automatically. Go into two axis, create a profiling operation. Uh, from the dialog, we'll select uh, curve edge regions. We'll zoom down here and we'll pick one of these edges. Curve there. And for a tool, let's go ahead and create a tool real quick. Create a flat mill, half inch diameter, uh, two and a half, that should be tall enough. Uh, part is not under two inches, so that should be okay. And we'll call this flat mill dash 0.5. Save that. Pick OK. So now I have a tool. For the feeds and speeds, we'll load them from the tool. For the clearance paint plane, we'll leave it set to automatic and clearance plane. For the cut parameters, uh, we'll We'll assume that the stock is already uh, roughed out and we're going to cut a finished perimeter uh, around this part. So we'll leave the stock set to zero. We'll also set the tolerance to one thousandths. For cut direction, we'll leave that at mixed. And for the uh, start point for closed curves, we'll just lay, leave that set at the midpoint. For the cut start side, We'll use inside and outside for closed curves, and we'll set it to outside. So we're going to cut the outside perimeter of the part. And then for the cut levels, uh, we can uh, tell it where the geometry is that we selected. It's at the bottom of the part. And for the total cut depth, we'll let it, let it determine the depth, and we'll just select a point here on the top and on the bottom. So we'll just pick a point. say here and here so we have a total cut depth of one and three quarter inches and we'll set this to cut in levels of say one quarter of an inch okay now on the entry and exit tab we'll just leave these set to uh, lines and arcs for the entry and exit with the advanced cut parameters we'll automatically fit arcs because on this particular part, these are individual line segments that came in on the IGES file. So we'll perform arc fitting. We'll set a tolerance of two thousandths. And for the bridges and tabs, you can create them uh, automatically on this curve. And you have two options, a triangular shape tab or rectangular shape. Let's go ahead and create the rectangular shape for the height. We'll set it to 0.1, and for the bridge width, we'll set it to 0 0.25. And let's put four bridges on the part, and we'll pick generate. So here we go. We have a toolpath created. We have our arcs uh, automatically fitted to the part. Let's turn the grid off so we can see this a little bit better. And you see that we have uh, bridges created automatically. So let's go ahead and uh, simulate this. So you see if we go into the top view here, you'll see that we have four bridges created automatically. One here, here, one over here, and one over here. And if we zoom in here, you'll see these a little bit better here. There they are right here. Now, if you want precise placement control of the bridges and tabs, here's what we're going to do. Let's go back to the program tab, turn our stock off for a moment, and we'll create a machining region from the regions tab, and we'll select the curve region, and we'll go ahead and select this bottom curve of the part. So we got one machining region set, 
with one curved region defined. And what we'll do is we'll uh, place bridge points uh, on the part. So we're going to manually place the bridge points. Select that and we'll pick a near point object snap. And let's say that we want a bridge point located here. And we'll set one here and set one here and set one over here. So now we have four bridge points located where we want them located on a predefined curve region that we created. Go back to the Tools tab. We'll open up the 2.5 axis profiling operation and we'll get rid of that drive region and we'll select our predefined region. Pick OK and generate. So now you see that we have bridge points to find exactly where our points are selected. If you need more information, you can visit us on the web at www.mexop.com. Thank you.